Time now for the morning rush. Three high school students are suspended after they were allegedly caught stealing school property. Cleveland High School officials believe that the students were taking part in the Devious Licks TikTok challenge. Well, that calls on students to steal school property and then post videos of it. The district is now reviewing the videos that they think may have been posted by students at other Rio Rancho schools. The state PD is once again pleading with parents to get their students enrolled in COVID surveillance testing. This is a number of participants is very low. The state launched the program to help detect asymptomatic cases at schools, hoping to test at least 25% in each district. On average, each district is only testing 1%. An abandoned retail center in the Northeast Heights of Albuquerque will soon get a movie theater and restaurants. The closure of Albuquerque's Movies 8th Theater was just one of many to leave big empty buildings off San Mateo, north of Montgomery. But now the building will soon see a renovation planned by Icon Cinema. New dash cam footage shows the moment Stoniana County deputies chase after a 12 year old driving a stolen car. Deputies say the boy reached speeds of up to 80 miles per hour. At one point, he stopped, and three other kids, ages 12 through 17, jumped out. One reportedly tried to toss a gun, ended up crashing head on into a woman before being arrested. Erica. Here's a look at the school day forecast. Temps in the upper 50s, so it'd be a good idea to grab a light jacket or sweater for the kiddos as they're stepping out, but it will be hot this afternoon. Temps right back up to 90 degrees. An Afghan interpreter living in Albuquerque is now working to help get his family out of Afghanistan. He is now asking for the community's help. Veteran Mohammed Ismail relocated to the U.S. in 2014. His aunt, uncle, and cousin were left behind. Ismail now has created a GoFundMe page to raise money to get his family and 14 other families out of Afghanistan safely. An abandoned retail center in the middle of Albuquerque getting new life with a movie theater and restaurant set to move in soon. Albuquerque's Movies 8 Theater will be renovated by Icon Cinema. Dion's will move into the old ITS building. Some city workers in Rio Rancho could soon be getting a little more in their paychecks for hazard pay. The Rio Rancho governing body approved a thousand dollars each for first responders and janitorial staff. Five hundred dollars will go to full-time workers, and part-time workers will get two hundred dollars. Erica, here's a look at the Metro Threat Index. It is going to be a hot afternoon despite these cool morning temps, so avoid any strenuous activity from about two to five. This morning, state police are investigating a shooting involving the Santa Fe County Sheriff's Office yesterday afternoon. Deputies responded to a call about a person at an ULSEPS who appeared to be drunk and fired a gun. SWAT team members negotiated with that person for two hours when shots were fired by a deputy, injuring the suspect. Starting at the end of next month, Americans will have to dial the area code on every call, even if it's local. The FCC is making the change in order to roll out a three digit federal suicide prevention hotline. That number will be 988, and that goes into effect on October 24th. A city run facility designed to make sure that Albuquerque pets can get basic care is now open. The preventative pet care clinic is at the Copper Point Business Complex near I 40 in Eubank. It will offer services including vaccinations and even microchipping. Erica. All right, let's get a look at the morning drive. Here's a look at the traffic maps. We are waking up with clear roads, no accidents or slowdowns. And here's a look at Tracker, currently going west on I-40 near the Big Eye. Still looking like things are moving right along there. Take a look at this. A sculpture of a whale made out of a ton of recycled plastic now towers over Soviet-style buildings in Ukraine. Placed on six metal pillars, that artwork aims to draw people's attention to the importance of environmental protection and, of course, recycling. It is the country's biggest plastic sculpture, weighing approximately 1,653 pounds. Welcome back. On this day in 1996, lightning struck a house in Taylor Ranch, Albuquerque, starting a fire that caused $70,000 worth of damage. Time now for the five facts. At number five, an abandoned retail center in the middle of Albuquerque is getting new life with the movie theater and restaurants. Set to move in soon, Albuquerque's Movies 8 Theater will be renovated by Icon Cinema. Dion's will move into the old ITS building. At number four, an Afghan interpreter living in Albuquerque is now working to get his family out of Afghanistan. He's now asking for the community's help to do so. Veteran Mohammed Ismail relocated to the U.S. in 2014 for his safety. It's where his parents and siblings followed two years later. However, his aunt, uncle, and cousin, they were unable to leave during the initial evacuation, having exhausted his resources. Ismail says that he's now created the GoFundMe page to raise money to get his family and 14 other families out of Afghanistan safely. We have a link to that on our website. And at number three, we'll see a chance for showers in the Gila, but otherwise, the rest of the state does stay dry today. And number two, new dash cam footage shows the moments that Doña Ana County deputies chased after a 12-year-old behind the wheel of a stolen car. 
Last Sunday in Las Cruces, witnesses reported the child driving recklessly. Deputies say that the boy reached speeds up to 80 miles per hour, and at one point he briefly stops. That's when three passengers, ages 12 to 17, they reportedly jumped out, and one reportedly tried to toss a gun before they were arrested. The driver ended up going the wrong way, hitting a woman head on, sending her to the hospital before he too was arrested. Finally, number one, this morning, three high school students at Rio Rancho are suspended after they were caught stealing soap dispensers and paper towel holders. School officials believe the students were taking part in a destructive TikTok challenge. The challenge is called Devious Licks. It calls on students to steal school property, then post videos of it. The trend is now showing up at Cleveland High School in Rio Rancho. The district is reviewing videos that they think may have been posted by students at other Rio Rancho schools. District officials are also calling on parents to get involved.